Hello, my friends. Beautiful Wednesday morning, day after Christmas. It's a bombing uh, 60 degrees this winter day. It's very extremely a little warm. Uh, got a few parts in to put in the infinity today. So let's check them out. So I got in the mail. Like I said, I'm going to replace the uh, back bow speakers with uh, aftermarket ones. Been looking for some for a little while and decided to go with these. These are the JBL Harman GX602. I uh, believe that they are. The 180 peak, the 60 continuous. These are made and engineered in North Ridge. California. So here they are. I have not even hooked them up to see what they sound like. I was going to try to do a little sample test in the house. Let me get my finger out of the way. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's got the uh, directional get this out of the way it's got the directional thing you can turn it to where the tweeter wrote this little thing for for that so yep and I got both of them they come packaged really well um, like I say for a budget build um, they are shelf display brand new were not used as you can see terminals have not been used and they are not messed up so yeah we're good so you can see the little angle out there you can turn this little thing back and forth the angle of the little tweeter so yeah these are gonna hopefully sound a little bit better with the uh, factory bose amp in the back and maybe a, some more trouble because that's what i'm missing i'm missing a little bit of trouble so uh, I'm just all buttoned up and uh, I'm going to turn around the car or I might park over there to do it here in a minute. And uh, another thing I got from my brother-in-law from the RX-8 is uh, I got the uh, factory air box and some brand new struts for the, the hood and some miscellaneous door parts and stuff that are, that are brand new. So, anyway, if you want to know what that is, so that's good to have. I'm just going to put it in storage. So. I don't like that because I got the AEM on there now. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, well, we're going to fold down the back seats. And, oh, get in here. We're going to take these panels off. And this panel comes off. And that panel comes off. And under here, uh, there's some clips. Let me find them. All right, there's one there. Take a pair of pliers and squeeze it. And there's one over there. And there's a few around. Like I say, those are the uh, factory bow speakers, which they are in decent condition. Uh, I did not get the factory connectors uh, for this, so I'm going to cut the wires and solder them and keep these plastic ones in case I do sell the car. Later on down the road, I'll put these back in. And it's like, this is the factory amp for it. So I've, I've had this apart before, only on one side. I had to replace that seat belt that was locked. So that was, uh, did not record that one. So anyway, that's it for that. So I'm going to be upside down for a little while. Popping that out. And then we'll pop these out. I'm probably gonna restore this a little bit and clean them up a little bit so I'll pop them out and this pops out I gotta take it out anyway I'm gonna undo undo the connector on that third bright light uh, these these pop out uh, like I say it's for the uh, the child the child seat uh, I don't know if they pop out or not. I might leave those in because I think they're attached to the uh, the uh, the back the back deck card. So, all right, let me get to it. 
All right, folks. See here, I've got the panels popped out. They just pop out in a little clip. Some have clips here, then some have fill clips here in the other one. And I just popped out that side, and this panel. Uh, raises up a little bit to get over the child seat belt car seat things there I don't know if I'm going to delete them or not but I may delete them anyway but anyway uh, you slide pull that thing and you tilt it up and you slide it out so I'm just going to let it sit here and uh, you just let it rest on these seat belts it'll be fine I'm not going to unbolt them so uh, I'm thinking about I might paint these. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. They just unscrew from the back, from the, from the back door card. So I think it's just gonna. I got screws there. I might, I might paint them. Look at them So here's my problem here. Anyway, uh, you can see this speaker is. Yeah, it's got a. I just put a hole in it. It's it's dry rotted. So, you know, pretty old, you know, bow. It just says bows on it. Pretty sure it does somewhere. Right there. Bows. Yeah, so, yeah, we're paper speakers. We're going to put some are your thing speakers in there. I'm going to pop those out and uh, wire them up. And that's it. Got them all buttoned in now. Just gotta put it all back together. Won't be too much. Hey guys, got it all buttoned up. I don't know why I don't. I had to extend the wires a little bit and turn these uh, at an angle. So I think they'll be okay. As long as nothing snags them a little bit or something. I done that one too. I did it in the right way. Soldered the wires from. The factory wires back there and crimped them in with these clamps here like I say I got a whole box of these so done it right and that's how it's gonna be and I'm gonna jam out a little bit and y'all have a good one and we we'll got some more coming y'all be sure to uh, follow me on Instagram uh, natesgate74 for some premiere upcoming videos and upcoming more projects to the Finity G20. Thank y'all. Like and subscribe.